Well, Bob, November has arrived. It has, and temperature's mm -hmm. still warm. 87 right. degrees today. Uh, but it was, uh, you know, you one of those days that uh, the humidity was so low it didn't didn't seem didn't to matter too much. Didn't matter as much, much. right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, if you get up really early tomorrow, Haley, you want to set your alarm I for won't this? Be, but 6 15, <laughs> okay? 6 15. Somebody else can watch it for me. <laughs> look straight up. Basically, looking west, look straight up. It appears at around 80 degrees above the horizon, so that's almost straight up. And then it lasts for about three minutes as it travels off toward the northeast, and that is the International Space Station, and you'll be able to see that. It's always interesting to see. It's going to be up there for about three minutes, and it eventually disappears about 10 degrees above the horizon. So it's up there and then moves off to the northeast. Tower cam showing the sun setting in the west, and I tell you, it was a pretty nice sunset with a few clouds around, creating beautiful shots once again. And folks, sending pictures in to pics at mysuncoast.com. We appreciate those. And this one from a contributor who does it quite frequently, Fred Seeger, Siesta Key, and BJ Merkel also getting one from Siesta Key, showing those mid-level clouds that were around this afternoon. Uh, you can see the Titan radar picture continues to depict a few showers off the coast of Florida. Uh, tonight uh, near Jacksonville and Georgia, not a lot, but it's just on this rotating this area of high pressure right there continues to spin this wind in a northeasterly direction uh, right toward us and uh, we're continuing to see that northeasterly wind tonight and won't be as strong tomorrow as the pressure gradient kind of loosens up a little bit and that usually indicates uh, not a stronger wind but some showers along the east coast that also is indicative of a little bit more moisture coming back into play and some of that may make it all the way over the west coast but the rain chance very small and if we see any at all it'll be just a one or two lone showers right now the humidity is 73%. We have an east-northeast wind at 7, and the pressure is pretty high. 3014 continues to rise. And the temperature today, actually I said 87, is 88. Uh, just a few degrees shy of our record 91 set back in 1971. Uh, 67 was the morning low. No rainfall to report, and uh, we're starting off dry. November, typically a very dry month, and uh, 71 degrees in Jacksonville. Orlando the same. A bit warmer in Miami and Key West, uh, upper 70s there. And we have some 60s to report tonight already. 66 in Arcadia. Uh, temperature 68 in Northport and 73 in Sarasota. Uh, these temperatures will drop just a couple more degrees. That would be about it uh, for the Sun Coast. We'll start off basically in the upper 60s tomorrow morning. We'll warm up into the mid 80s for highs and looks as though we'll see lots of sunshine around. I mentioned earlier, not as strong a wind around. So the wind will be uh, basically out of the east and northeast, anywhere from 5 to 10 to maybe getting as high as 15 at times in the afternoon, but uh, really a much uh, less wind than we've seen over the past couple of days. Well, in the northeast, there's a storm system, and that's about it. Everything else is fairly quiet. Very warm day today into Ohio and Cleveland, a record-breaking in some places, a 70s, the mid-70s to start the game off tonight uh, for the World Series of showers and storms out west. This is a gathering storm system, which will eventually change our weather, but it's going to take a while. It's not until Friday afternoon uh, when another cold front moves on in. Uh, you can see what's happened today. The dry air has been in place. It's slowly thinning out and heading off to the east, but uh, in the mid-levels of the atmosphere anyway, all that dry air is pushing off toward the east. We'll still, still see that east and northeasterly wind component. In the tropics, all is quiet. We don't normally count on too many storms in November. We'll watch it for you nonetheless. And uh, it's been a rather active late season, so I wouldn't be surprised to see something popping up. Here comes the front, uh, pretty active uh, tomorrow through Texas and Oklahoma. And then it loses a little steam as it heads off to the south and east. You can see that wind change, and that's what we're going to see, the difference in wind direction beginning especially on Saturday, which will bring us a temperature slightly below average. There's that colder air starting to gather there over the northern Rockies. Still very warm, even in Cleveland at this hour, it's 69 degrees. Uh, as far as the forecast goes for boaters, not nearly as breezy out there. Seas running two feet, a light chop, and the water temperature now 76 degrees. Now 75, uh, just changed at the Venice Pier. A uh, high tide upcoming, 112, a low tide will be at 929. And sunset will be at the 6, 657. Uh, mostly fair, warm, 67 for your low. Northeast winds 5 to 10. Not as windy tomorrow. Warm, 86 your high. And it uh, looks like we will see temperatures cool slightly over the weekend. A slight chance for a shower with that front on Friday. And remember to fall back one hour before you go to bed on Saturday.